is Blue Meanie. This is the uh, the brother or sister to White Zombie. Same kind of car, same year. This is the more streetable version. Uh, this is my everyday driver. Uh, instead of direct drive, it's a transmission car. It's got a four-speed transmission, but it's still got quite a bit of spunk. And unlike the race car, we have batteries balancing here and there so that we have complete four-place seating instead of just a two-place. So it looks a little bit different under the hood. The workings of an electric car are pretty simple. Uh, where a gas car has a, a gas tank full of fuel, we have a battery pack. This is part of the battery pack. The rest of it's in the back of the car. That's our fuel source. And instead of hoses and, and pipes for the fuel to run in, we have cables. And then we have the motor controller instead of like fuel injection that meters the electricity and finally to the electric motor itself. Over here we have the charger that puts all the energy back when we uh, need to recharge the batteries. It's pretty much that simple. That's the, the beauty of an electric car is you have this nice silent vibration free cruise mode. You know, it's really funny. I don't know how to explain it, but you can drive along with the windows down in a gas car and that's just all you're doing. In an electric car, when you have the windows down, you hear the birds, you smell the breeze, you, you literally smell the roses. You, you, you're not distracted by all the vibration and problems that an internal combustion engine has that we've all kind of just gotten used to. I mean, you know, we're just kind of cruising down the road here, but what do you hear? I think Simon and Garfunkel said it, said it best, the sounds of silence. And of course, we just got passed by another electric vehicle, the uh, electric light rail for Portland. So we're on uh, zero pollution row here. So it's kind of a symbiotic uh, relationship between myself and the train. You know? you know, when I built this car back in 1980, I looked around and a lot of the electric car conversion people were doing in the backyards were basically duct tape and bailing wire. You know, they'd have something that would get them back and forth to work, but golly, you know, you wouldn't want to be seen in it. And you had oozing batteries with corrosion and wires hanging here. And I decided that we needed to put a little, uh, a little sizzle with the stake. So even though it's an older Datsun that it's based on, it's kind of a retro look. It's got a, a flashy paint job. It's got maintenance free batteries, gold plated connectors, a rock and sound system. And this was really one of the very first backyard built electric cars that had acceleration and sex appeal at the same time. Yeah, I know it sounds funny, little Datsun with sex appeal, but when you blow away a V8 Mustang, it's pretty sexy.